Hello everyone. It's a beautiful snowy day here in Ontario. Uh, it's been a long time since I've made a video and I wanted to say thank you for all the emails and messages and comments everyone's been leaving. Um, I do intend to keep making videos. I didn't plan on taking such a long absence from YouTube but life was just really busy this summer. We had a massive drought and heat wave here in Ontario. Not that you would know it right now. But uh, most of my time was spent trying to keep the gardens alive, which didn't work. If you've been reading my blog, then you would know that we had a pretty much complete garden failure this year. I ended up harvesting maybe half a grocery bag of tomatoes and one or two squashes, and that was it. Um, we should have had a few thousand pounds of potatoes. We got nothing. And it didn't matter how much water I was trying to bucket onto the gardens, our well couldn't keep up, and I think it rained twice all summer. So even saving all the water from the house and then carrying it out in buckets didn't really help. And with the well going dry on and off, it could keep up to the household needs, but it couldn't keep up to the garden. Um, even areas that we had mulched uh, didn't do well. It just wasn't enough moisture and the heat the heat and the wind were too strong. So um, that's mostly why there hasn't been any garden videos since like July. There was really not much to show you. Um, I am starting to plan our garden for next year though. I'm starting to look through the seed catalogs and looking through what I have and trying to make some decisions. I want to try to make sure I've got a good mix of different types of vegetables planted. Some that are good for dry conditions, cold and hot. Um, try to cover my bets so that each year I should uh, get something. Um, we did one of our gardens, the one back here, which was the shady garden. Um, we had some potatoes in here that had been grown from the year before and we might get some seed out of this in the spring we'll dig it up. We left them because the potatoes felt like they were very lightweight and uh, they were all kind of pithy inside. If you cut them open, you could see like little tunnels that should have been solid that weren't. They weren't holes, but they were kind of like that. And all the potatoes in the other garden were the same too. So the main garden, you might get one or two that were the size of marbles of each plant. It wasn't worth digging at all. And when we tilled it up, we didn't even find any. Normally you'd pick them up off the top, you couldn't this year. But with this garden, there were some that were reasonably sized. But being that they felt so strange, we didn't want to harvest them and just have them rot in the cellar. So I left them here, and I figured that if they start sprouting in the spring, then they'll still be okay, and at least we'll have seed for our red potatoes and those blue or purple potatoes. But we'll definitely have to rebuy the seed for the white ones. Uh, this one, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, there's not really a whole a whole lot else going on. I'm just getting over virus number, who knows what that I've been hit with this fall with all our weather. It's been kind of crazy, so there's lots going around. Uh, you'll notice we don't have much snow. And if you've been following us for a few years, you'll know that normally we have a few feet of snow. Uh, we had a really early fall. Uh, frost came a month earlier than normal, so as soon as we started getting the rains, the frost killed the garden. Um, yeah, so other than that, we didn't really get much snow until just after Christmas. We had a storm come in and drop about a foot of snow, and the kids loved that, and you know, we're all out here sliding and whatnot. But uh, earlier this week, we had uh, like our January thaw slightly later than maybe we normally get and a couple days of rain and it melted most of it away but the snow is starting to come back so hopefully we'll get a good covering to help protect the the garden and different plants the different perennials that are out here I do plan on doing some more videos soon I've got some craft videos that I really want to get going uh, just finding the times hard I have been doing more written posts and uh, photography uh, posts and whatnot on my blog because it takes less time. It does take time of course to write and edit photos but not as much as a video uh, to edit. 
Uh, one thing I do want to do is we have a copy of, I think it's an 1897, 97 or 98, um, Sears catalog. I think it was Sears. Anyway, um, we picked that up at a library sale earlier this summer and it's just amazing to look through and see not only the prices of things back then but the selection and the quality and the you know just lots of interesting things that you don't see in modern catalogs so I want to do a video soon showing different sections of that and going through there um, anyway I guess that's all for now thank you again for all your wonderful comments and emails uh, take care everyone and I hope to be back soon